Hi, first grade owls at home. It's your music teacher, Miss Webb. This is going to be our last music lesson of the year. But no worries because we'll be back in January, except we'll flip the calendar from December to January 2021. So let's start with a mystery song. I've got my recorder. it sound familiar? Yes, it was Frosty the Snowman. Very good. I like how Frosty's story is that he came and he helped his children. They had a good time and then they knew he might melt at the end. And I also like how the song was written. They put the melody, which is how the words go, mixed with how the tune goes. They did how he came to life one day. And that's kind of sounds like he's melting, right? Because it goes down. <laughs> Will you match that with me? I'm going to hum it. <laughs> Good. Let's do it. Came to life one day. Came to life one day. That's right. And then other times there's melodies that go up. Here he comes up. Now we go down. Let's do that. Here we go up and now we go down. Very good. We're going to have a lot of fun on our Christmas or winter vacation. Believe it. The other thing I want to do today is a little finger play. So get your hands out. Did you bring them with you? I brought mine too. So this is about Santa coming to visit. Down through the chimney, Santa slipped, brushed off the dirt and the snow that dripped, looked around the room, and then he crept right past the beds where the children slept. He laid all the presents under the tree, filled all the stockings for the children to see. Then he tiptoed to the chimney and was out of sight till he jumped in his sleigh and flew off through the night. Awesome. We do that with me one more time. Down through the chimney, Santa slipped, brushed off the dirt and the snow that dripped, looked around the room and then he crept right past the beds where the children slept. Laid all the presents under the tree, filled all the stockings for the children to see. Then tiptoed to the chimney and was out of sight till he jumped in his sleigh and flew off through the night. Santa is gone and he's going to the next house. He is a nice elf, isn't he? And he's the boss of all the other elves. So what else do I have for you today? Oh, I have a song for you. Actually, it's something I wrote. I do like to write songs sometimes. But let's see if I can get you guys where I want you to be. Okay, I hope you can see my, it says, tree, tree, Christmas tree, tall as you and shines brightly. Do you notice there that some of the trees are high, some are low, and a lot of them are in the middle? Yeah, that's the melody, what we were talking about with Frosty. This one has a melody that goes, and it also has a part that goes, that's higher. So, sorry about that. Okay, any trees that are in the middle that go, we're gonna put an S for so. So that's a so. So, hmm, so, so. Yep, I'll put an S there for those. Hmm, and those are in the middle too. Hmm, hmm, so, so. Hmm, hmm. Oh, 
Oh, look, that one's even higher than any of the other ones so far. And then we got some more. So, so. And then, hmm. So, so, so. So, so. So, so. Doesn't sound like much of a song, does it? All right, so all the low ones, we're going to put an M for me. 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 On the word tree. And the last one of the whole song is a me. So me, so, so me, so, 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 so me. The ones that are a question mark, I'm going to change color to a real pretty blue. The ones that are a question mark, are they higher or lower than so? Yep, they're higher. Are they higher or lower than the me tree? Yep, they're higher. So we're going to change that. I'm going to erase that. And anytime we have that higher tree, we're going to write an L, a cursive L for La. Okay, let's sing it on So, Me, and La. So, me, so, so, me, so, so, la, la, so, so, me. Now let's sing it on the real words. Tree, tree, Christmas tree. Tall as you and shines brightly. I hope you have a tree that you put up. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to read this book called The Mouse's Christmas. It's one of my favorites. It's so, so adorable. It was Christmas time and the snow had already started to fill. Oh, I said fill. I, I meant to say fall. Yes, snow doesn't fill, it falls. I also forgot to tell you the author of the book, and that is Kit Schorsch, and the pictures are by Patty Lynn. So I'll just start over. It was Christmas time, and the snow had already started to fall. Can we have our own Christmas tree? Asked the children. Mother shook her head. Mice don't have Christmas trees, she said. We're too small. Outside, it was getting colder. More snow was falling and the children were feeling gloomy. Hmm. Can we please have a Christmas tree? They begged again and again. At last, Mother said, I'll do my best. Mother slipped outside into the snow. She looked everywhere for a Christmas tree that was small enough. She examined twigs a fallen branch, and a big leaf that was frozen in ice. None of them really looked like a Christmas tree. At last, Mother chose a branch that had three red berries on it, and she carried it home for her children. Our very own Christmas tree, she said proudly, but it didn't look like a real Christmas tree. There was just nothing very Christmassy about it. The children were still feeling gloomy. That night, the farmer took his Christmas tree inside. It was so big that he had to cut a piece off of it to get it in the door. A little while later, a fox came by. This is just what I need for my den, he said. Then the fox picked up the piece of Christmas tree and he carried it home. But when he got home, he found that he didn't need the whole piece. With a snap, he bit off what he needed and he left the rest in the snow. Soon after, a rabbit came by. When she saw the piece of Christmas tree, she said to herself, this is just what I need for my burrow. So she picked it up and she quickly carried it home. Look at her cute little white fluffy tail. But at home, she saw that she didn't need it at all. So she broke off a piece and left the rest. Just then a bird hopped by. This is exactly what I need for my nest, she said. So she picked it up and carried it home. But when she got home to her nest, she found that she didn't need the whole piece. So she broke off what she needed and she dropped the rest of it from her nest. Do you guys think you might know where the story's going now? Mother Mouse was gazing outside when she saw a tiny piece of a Christmas tree fall to the ground. This is exactly what we need, she said. She carried the tree inside. The children started decorating it at once. 
by the time they finished, they had their own perfect little Christmas tree. And that night, when mother took them to see the decorated Christmas tree in the farmhouse, they all agreed that their tiny Christmas tree was just as beautiful as the big one. The end. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I'll see you in January. Bye.